I've just had the appointment from hell. Absolutely horrendous. As a practitioner, I spend all my time ensuring patients are fully informed. Before I even think to touch that patient, I ensure that they know what I'm going to be do and how I'm going to do it. I have just had to ask a practitioner within the NHS to explain what they intend to do with me every step of the way, what they intend so that I can be fully informed. I shouldn't have to ask that. That should have been explained beforehand. And that con- that consultation ended up with no assessment being done and me making a formal complaint. In what world do the doctors think they can just do procedures on patients? Consent isn't just a signature. It is you explaining fully and explicitly what you intend to do to your patient. That includes assessments, you know. You've got to explain to somebody before you think about pulling them around, messing with necks, messing with heads, messing with backs and increasing their pain. Maybe you should explain to them what you intend to do and more importantly, why you want to do it. Why is it relevant? You might get on better doctors in this world. Doctors, physios, anyone doing assessments on people. Try explaining to your patients what you're doing why you're doing and make sure they're okay with it before you just go and grab them and say just sit here turn here do that pull that let me hit with this that's not consent that's not fully informed it's not explicit we need to understand why you are doing something we need to know why you want to do it and what it's going to do to us if somebody is in pain and you're doing their range of movements could that leave them in more pain for the rest of that day Because if it is and they've had that in the past, they're not going to want to do it in the future. If they've had 20 assessments and all 20 have done the same assessment and every time it's left them in pain for the rest of that day or left them dizzy or nauseous or any sort of trauma, do we think they're going to want to let you do it next time? But maybe if you explain it and they understand why they've got to put up with it, they're more likely to do it without any arguments. Learn doctors, bedside manner isn't just saying, can I do this? It's explaining why I need to do this and how it might make them feel. This has been Thoughts with Points. Hopefully it's been some food for thought. Take care.